And for the second time in as many games, the Ohio Bobcats started the game sluggish, rallied late, but only to come up short, this time against defending MAC champions Akron as they fell 67-62 Wednesday night here at the Convo. Like their Saturday loss against Kent State, the Bobcats let their opponent jump out to an early lead. The Zips leapt out to an 11-2 early lead to start the game and maintained control the majority of the first half because of their dominance on the glass. But Armand Bassett would not let the Cats go down quietly as his play paced the green and white back to within six points at the break. Bassett's efforts kept the Bobcats in the ball game as the junior transfer finished with a game-high 25 points while going 9 of 10 from the foul line. The game would go back and forth as either team could not build more than a five-point lead during the second half. But with the score 60 to 59, Akron's Chris McKnight drained two jumpers that put the defending MAC champs ahead for good. The Ziffs would prevail 67 to 62 at the final buzzer. And especially due to the Bobcats' slow starts, head coach John Gross stressed the necessity of playing 40 minutes of intense basketball to win conference games. Well, I really encourage our guys um, to, to embrace every possession, as, as they should in every game, but in particular in MAC play, because every game seems to come down to, you know, a lot of them, I shouldn't say every game, but a lot of them come down to that last four or five minutes, either team could win it. And so the pos valuing possessions, I think, is an important step for us. And the Bobcats will try to avoid three straight conference losses as they hit the road on Saturday to take on bitter rival Miami. Reporting from the Convo, I'm Robert Schreier for Palester.net, the College Network.